Well, this is Planum Arms, and today we're doing a review of the Sightmark Ultra Shot with a quick detach and digital switch. If you like this video, please check out some of my other videos and please subscribe. And this is being sported on a Smith & Wesson M&P Sport. And if you're looking for a good red dot, but to be honest, you can't afford really currently an EOTech or an Aimpoint, this might be a good option for you. You can get these normally for about 80 bucks to $100 out the door as of right now. If we jump into how this thing is constructed, one of my favorite things is how durable it is. It does have a protective hood that's aluminum that protects the sight, so it's going to be really tough. It's going to protect that glass from getting shattered and whatnot. I love that feature. The second best thing about it is it holds zero up to a 50 cal, such as a shotgun. I have tested this one for a while on an AR, an AK-47, and a couple different 22 long rifles. I don't plan on putting this on a shotgun, but if it holds zero on a 308, which I plan on testing later, then I'm happy with it. I have heard a lot of people using that shotgun with no problems whatsoever holding zero, so it is shockproof too. It does hold a zero and it can be dropped and whatnot. It's pretty tough. Next thing that I like, it does have a built-in AR riser with the quick detach lever. So yeah, it's already it's got a built-in riser right here, so a co-witness with your back in your front sight. So that's what I like about it. And the quick detach is over here. This pops up and it can be adjusted if it's a little sloppy on your rail or if you can't get it really on there. You can take it off underneath it. There's a little, little nut that you can loosen up. It comes with a wrench to loosen it up right here. So this will adjust it for you. And it also comes with an Allen wrench that's used to uh, adjust the elevation and windage on the site. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is uh, it does come with four different reticles. And you can actually switch them right here, which is nice. There's a little switch. I don't know why you can see it, but it's over here. And you can switch between four different reticles on the, on the site. The four different reticles are you have, uh, you have a circle, which is four MO, or 50 MOA, I'm sorry, with a 3 MOA dot. So you have the circle with the dot in the center. You have crosshairs that are 50 MOA with a 3 MOA dot. So you have your crosshairs and you got the dot in the center. And then you have a, a simple red dot, which is 5 MOA. And then you can get a combination of the three. You have cross, crosshairs with a circle, which is 50 MOA. And you have the 3 MOA uh, dot. The biggest complaint people have is that when you switch reticles, the zero changes. This is true, but if you pick one that you like and you keep it, you shouldn't have a problem. Also, if your iron sights are dead on, you can always use them to re-zero it. Now, no, the one of the neat things about this too, which is nice, is it does have a digital switch on it. So I don't know if you can see that very good, but you just push this button and it turns on. It's kind of a nice alternative to the little a switch, a uh, little knobs you have that you have to turn. So you just tap it, it turns on, and then it has five brightness settings. It does start up on the brightest setting, which is nice too. And each time you push the button, it lowers the brightness. To turn it off, you just simply hold the button for two to three seconds. The battery compartment is right here. It uh, it holds three AG5 batteries, and it comes with three extra batteries too, and adjustment tools. And also, I like it a lot. Nothing fancy, but a nice neoprene case for it. So the nice thing about the battery compartment being there is you don't have to take the sight off to take the batteries out so you don't have to re-zero it. Another thing about it is Sightmark offers a three year warranty on it. That's nice. EOTech only offers a two year warranty. That's just something kind of weird. You know, you, think, you would think EOTech would offer a longer warranty, but I guess usually EOTechs are going to get beat up a lot more. That's why it's only two year warranty. But I'm pretty sure an EOTech would outlast the Sightmark. But I, I still, regardless, wish EOTech did offer a longer warranty, like five years maybe. But it just kind of neat anyways. They give you a three-year warranty on it. Now, the bad things about it, there's two things I don't like about this site. But there's a lot of great things. But the two things I don't like, one of them is that it's only water-resistant. And I did call Sightmark and I asked them what they consider water-resistant. They said you can shoot it when it's drizzling outside in the rain, just like a light drizzle, or if it's snowing, but not a downpour. So if it's really raining out there, they suggest you take the site off. Of course, you can't submerge it in water either. Submerging in water isn't a big deal, 
but it would be pretty sweet if the sight could handle it. Now, not being able to shoot in downpour, that's not a big deal, especially, uh, or to me, I'm sorry, that's a big deal, especially if you plan on using it in an SHTF situation. Now, at least it is water resistant, but I would like if it could be actually shot in the downpour and rain, would be nice. But it's, they say to take the sight off. The second thing I don't like about it that much is the battery supply. As I said before, it uses three AG5 batteries. Sight mark uh, states that it lasts 20 hours on high. In reality, it's usually less, especially if it's cold outside. I would definitely prefer better battery life. Now, the, another thing too is the AG5 batteries are small, which means they don't provide a lot of powers, which results in maybe not as bright as a sight you'd want on maybe a bright sunny day. It would be nice if it was a little brighter. Now, I haven't had any problem shooting this in the snow, but like I, like I just said though, it would still be nice if you could crank it up a little bit higher and could get a little bit brighter, but that's really the battery's fault, not really the sights. Well, I guess it's in combination sight. They should have used a better battery supply, I think. Bigger batteries would be nicer. Now, if uh, in summary though, this is a high value and very durable sight. It does function well, but like I said just a little bit ago, I do wish it was waterproof and I do wish it had a better battery supply. For the same amount of cash, well a little bit more actually, you could go with the Bushnell TRS-25. It does have a lot better battery life, it is shockproof, up to 50 cal, and it's waterproof. So you can actually submerge that one in up to 10 feet. And usually it's about 10 to $25 more, depending on the riser, because that one you would need to get a riser. And if you like this video, please check out some other videos and please subscribe.